Hello everybody, my name is Cool Blue, and I'm bringing you guys this video about Starship Horizons. This is my YouTube video that I've I have made. I haven't made a video in a long time, but I'll talk about all that in a different video, not this one. Um, but this is a video that I'm making about Starship Horizons, talking about a few of the bugs that I've faced for the purposes of development, knowing about the things that happened and what order they happened in and how they triggered and how they happened, as well as for anybody who might be facing similar issues, just so you can know that if you're facing one of these three issues, you can actually fix it. The other two are kind of just things that need to be developed. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, Starship Horizons is in its early access phase, or it's in the, they want, I think they say alpha, I think it's in the alpha stage technically, um, but it feels like the beta stage because it feels kind of usable to me, but I don't know, I don't know how long it's been running. Um, I just got recently introduced to it because I decided to try to run a space bridge party uh, with my friends and stuff, and uh, Artemis has been the one that I've used for about a year and a half or so. Um, that one's been pretty reliable, but I learned randomly through the internet that Starship Horizons is also a new one that's there, and it looks prettier than Artemis. I was like, oh my gosh, you're totally right. Um, but sadly, there's some pitfalls. There's some bugs. And that's what this video is for, because I would like to see Starship Horizons overtake or take the throne that Artemis currently has, because it's the most convenient slash easiest one to utilize so far. So, going into the three bugs, I'm not going to belabor things by too long by keeping you guys in the mist as to what the bugs are. There's three different bugs I'm going to mention. One is one about the IP address in your client server, uh, which I'll explain more when we get to it. The second one is about the scaling issues that happen with the actual uh, controls. And then the third one is there's this little button that's, I guess, for hints or something, for debugging and screenshots. And for some reason, when you tap on it, it just kind of doesn't stay. It just kind of disappears. And we'll talk about that one last because it's like the, the least significant one. So starting off with the first one, uh, I'm going to talk about the first one first because the reasons that it almost caused me to not want Starship Horizons and actually want to get a refund um, because it just wouldn't work. But me being my techie computer based self was like, no, I know computers. I can fix this. I can fix this. And uh, I eventually did. So the first issue is actually with how the game launches. So if everybody doesn't know, the way um, Starship Horizons or even Artemis or any other space bridge simulator that uh, works is uh, they basically create a server. They create one machine that's designated as a server or one device that's designated as a server and then uh, they have other devices can connect to, the or connect to that device or communicate with that device to receive client data or client information. So you're creating a, a server client uh, relationship. So one is a server that's responsible for keeping track of the game and uh, letting everybody know what's happening, keeping track of other characters and other events and other locations, I guess, uh, and also triggering scenario things. And you have the clients who are the ones that are interacting with the server. The clients are saying, all right, I'm going to move this, or I'm going to shoot this direction, or I'm going to ask this question to this pers this NPC. Uh, they're the ones who are interacting with the server. So you have one primary, or you have one server, and then you have a bunch of different clients. And the clients represent in this game, or in Starship Horizons, or even in any Space Bridge Simulator, they represent the different stations. So you have the tactical, who controls weapons. You have the uh, flight controller, who controls flights. You have the engineer, who controls in engineering stuff, like power and the repair dro drones. So you have different things that form on the game. So the way that works is the server has to have an IP address that the, whoop, sorry. The server has to have an IP address that the clients can connect to. And uh, if you guys take a look at this, my IP address on my computer is this right here, 192.168.1.104. And the server's IP address is currently created as 169.254.50.9, port number 1864. That's a problem. That's a problem because the server is being created on such an IP address that nobody else can connect to it except for things on this local machine. And the reason why is because this IP address is being created is coming from a virtual, uh, virtual NIC and not the primary NIC. So this issue is very specific to people who have VMware installed, to people who might have virtual NICs installed, to people who might have anything specific like that. Um, VMware, for people who don't know, is just something that you can use to install a virtual machine on your computer. And I work with computers, so I utilize virtual machine or VMware um, pretty frequently. Not not super frequently, but you know, I, more frequently than normal people would, would I guess, because I like to play around with the other operating systems. And uh, as you guys can see, I have three network adapters total. I have two virtual adapters and then I have one physical adapter. What's happening is the game for some reason is picking up the virtual adapters and trying to utilize the virtual adapters 
um, as the uh, where the the internet is or where the rest of the network is, as opposed to trying to use the physical network local adapter. And uh, settings wise, because this game is so early in its production, uh, there are no settings to change which adapter the game looks at, and that's where the primary issue comes in. Uh, Artemis, on the other hand, Artemis, which is this game's competition, or which this game is competing against almost directly, uh, Artemis doesn't seem to have that issue at all. Like if I actually, let's close this and let's launch Artemis. Uh, if I launch Artemis and uh, Artemis does this loading thing and gets all the stuff running and bees all fancy, uh, Artemis automatically picks up the correct server. So if I start server, it picks up the correct thing. Uh, and like I said, I'm only showing this for the purpose of showing that Artemis doesn't seem to have an issue with it, but Starship Horizons does. Uh, meaning that it's probably just a small little configuration bug, something that can be fixed. Artemis, like I said, doesn't seem to have a problem with it, but then again, Artemis has been out for like 20,000 years. Uh, so it's, it's had a lot of development time, to so to speak, to take care of that. So this IP address is pulling is my exact IP address, 192.168.1.104, uh, whereas... Starship Horizons should be something along the lines of 192.168.1.104 port number 9, or 6, 1864, something like that. So let's get Artemis out of here because we don't need it anymore. Yeah. Alright, cool. Artemis is gone. And uh, let's go back to Starship Horizons. So the fix for this, for anybody who might be facing that same issue, is to simply just turn off the other adapters. Um, it is not a solution that I'm all that thrilled with but I mean really I don't work with VMware enough to justify keeping it on and say oh I use it every day I must keep it on Brr. it's more like a, I use VMware a cage like maybe once a month like uh, and maybe twice a month if I'm being very very studious with playing around with other machines so if I simply just go over here and turn these off oh no did I hide it I didn't mean to hide it Why did it disappear? There it is, okay. Alright, so if I go and disable those two things and then I relaunch Starship Horizons, Starship Horizons pulls the proper um, pulls the proper IP address. So boom, there it goes. Uh, so that's how you fix that issue. So if you are facing that issue, that is how you fix that issue. That issue can be fixed. That issue is fixable. You can do that. Um, now what this means is that I can go on any other machine. Um, I can go on my phone. I can go on my... Um, Linux box that's over there. I can go on my other tablet or my, my laptops, my Windows laptops, and I can navigate to this IP address and it'll actually be able to connect. What was happening before is uh, only the local machine, only this machine that the server's on, can actually load the or load up different consoles to connect. And uh, I would demonstrate that, but it's not relevant enough for me to go back and re enable those to show you that. Um, so it could work on the local machine, but it would not allow me to connect on my other devices. So if I try to navigate to the other IP address, which is like 169.254.something.something, .something .something, uh, if I try to navigate to that, that whole entire address that was previously there, it would not let me connect on my other devices. On this local machine, it would. I can launch like multiple things. I can get the captain, the hole, and all that stuff going. But it defeats the purpose of a bridge simulator because I can only do it on one machine. So that that that's that's silly, right? So that was not workable. So once again, this is how you fix it. Basically, turn off if you have virtual adapters on um, on your machine, turn your virtual adapters off. That'll usually fix the issue, and you'll be golden. So um, I'm not going to demonstrate the fact that I can connect. Just trust me when I can say that I can connect to this IP address on my other devices. I'm not going to bring those into the picture because it's not relevant enough for me to do so. Now, going into the second issue. The second issue I was talking about was scaling. Um, this game does have issues with scaling, and I do understand that there's, I mean, like I said, it's in beta or alpha or whatever, early access, whatever they want to call it. Uh, it's in its earlier stages, so therefore it is uh, not expected to be fully, fully functional. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get me four consoles here. And I'm going to change the aspect ratio of my screens. So I'm going to actually change this monitor. Oh, oh, oh gosh, no, what are you doing? Stop it. There we go. All right, so that way you guys can see the full screen. Uh, the reason why my screen looks like this, by the way, is because this screen that I'm recording on is my uh, 16 by 10 aspect ratio screen. Um, so it doesn't actually fit in the 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio, uh, which is what most videos are recorded in. 
Uh, so that's why you were seeing, or that's why you're seeing little black bars inside now. I didn't want little black bars to be showing in the beginning of my video because it didn't feel like it. I wasn't a fan. Um, but uh, so right now you guys are seeing the full screen. You can see the top bar up here. I'm using Chrome incognito mode, and then you can see the top and the bottom. You can see the whole screen. All right. So let me let me get this added. Yep, that's what I wanted. Yep, yep, cool. Actually, nope. Alright, there we go. So I'm just trying to make this a little prettier. Ugh, Jesus, come on. I'm trying to make this a little bit prettier so that way you guys can actually see. Um, <laughs> so that way you guys can actually see the. Uh, the game screen as we go along. Put that right there in the corner. Boom. That'll be a nice little happy screen. Alright. Alright, so going back into the main main focus of what's going on, uh, we have ourselves all of these screens going on. We have these different stations here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this one to be flights, this one to be tactical, communications, and engineering. Boom. Got our got our four stations going. We're gonna go ahead and get our mission started gonna do the long patrol and the game starts continue so here we have our stations you guys can see the little picture in the bottom down here uh, of what's going on let me actually make that um, let's hide that first well I'll keep it there we'll keep it there for now um, and the problem is with scaling so scaling is the issue that we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, let me hide the main window as you guys can see I'm in the tactical screen and I cannot see all of the ship here I cannot see all of what's going on down here if I go to flights it's even a bigger issue or it's even a bit it's an even bigger issue I can't see the full bar going on over here and I also cannot see the full steering situation uh, if I try to switch it to full screen which I can do by clicking this it, it gets it gets a little bit better but, but you know this is not not at all ideal. Um, ideal will not be the word I would use for this. Uh, so let me go ahead and actually uh, do communications, request to leave. Alright, cool. I'm clear to leave. It's telling me I'm clear to leave. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just go one fourth ahead. You guys can see the Starship screen. It's over there. It's changing. It's moving. Um, if I try to steer around, we'll see the navigation. You guys see the stuff moving around, I'm flying, woo, but I can't really go down. I mean, I can turn around eventually, or I can, I, I guess, I guess I can, I can get my pitch going down, but not, not, not like this. Hashtag not like this. So that's a problem. Um, also, it makes it more problematic that I cannot click on the screen. Now, if I could just click on the screen and just fly in that direction, that would be the solution in my mind for like the whole scale situation. Because the manual steering doesn't seem all that cool anyway, but that's just me. Um, and the way Artemis actually handles this is it actually has like slider bars, so you can slide left or slide right, or you can uh, also slide up or down for pitch and yaw. Um, so those are those are some possible solutions. Like I said, I'm not in development. I don't I don't know what their official plans are, but um, I just know that this situation is not ideal at all. So this scaling issue is uh, probably the biggest, probably the biggest issue. Uh, that currently exists that I don't really have a solution for, unfortunately. Um, now, on tablets, phones, and uh, other things alike, uh, what you can do is instead of using uh, the full screen mode on those, you can actually just kind of scroll because they're naturally have a smaller screen. You can just kind of scroll down on the screen and then you can start steering perfectly fine. Uh, so that's how that works. Uh, but on a computer screen, on a web browser, you don't have the scroll wheel available, so you can't actually do that. And it makes it a little, a little frustrating because you're like, man, I just want to steer down. Urgh, why is it doing this? Why can't I have this? Oh god, oh god, oh god! Full stop. All right, so we'll do a full stop, and we'll get communications over here. And uh, even in communications, the issue still seems there. I mean, we don't have, we can't see all of the mission objectives box. If we go to engineering, it's kind of clipped off a little bit down here on the bottom. If we go to tactical, we can't see all of the ship. So we see where all our, I assume, yeah, that's where all our guns are. That's cool and all, but 
we don't have anything to actually do. And actually, we'll go into red alert so that way engineering can get its guns. Man, I don't think I have anything. To aim at. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh stop that! Oh gosh, okay, all right. Oh, no, 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 no shooting that. All right, let's load it anyway. Let's load a missile. Loading a missile. Do do do. Engineering, give me more power to my weapons. Tactical, loading faster. And we're loaded, ready to fire. Fire again. Fire the missiles. I'm sad. Did I miss? I might have missed. Okay, cool. Alright, so we shot him a little bit, and then we're, then we're gonna go ahead and dock, because, you know, we're nice. We're cool. We're happy. Alright, so that's the scaling issue. Now, the third issue that I was talking about before was the little hint thing. If we go up here in the top left corner, we see, like, a little uh, green dot, and I'll do this all in communications. Um, if I click the green dot, it doesn't stay. I'm assuming when I tap on it, it's supposed to stay, but it doesn't. So... That's that's a problem. Um, I this is this is a more of a benign issue, really. But if you look at it, it's causing me issues. Like I can go to tactical and maybe read this better. Like I see Chrome 63. I can see the landscape scale. I can see the IP address and the local and the server and the uh, touch no and then it sounds enabled. You know all that, all that fun stuff going on. What does it say? And uh, this happens on the tablet as well, on the other devices. This happens on all those other devices as well. And it's a huge, huge, huge annoyance because I'm pretty sure that maybe if I'm, what if, what if I'm left-handed or what if I'm right-handed? You know, I, can, I can't switch my handiness. Um, and what if I want to reload the screen without hitting reload or what if I want context or whatever the, the other thing does? Uh, so that's, that's where that becomes a problem. So those are the three bugs. I don't really have anything else to show outside of those three bugs. Uh, the game breaking one is definitely the scalability. At least game breaking on the web browser because, you know, y you might want to play on the computer and if you try to use a web browser as a flight controller, you can't. Um, it kind of sucks that you have to go to a tablet and not be in full screen to utilize uh, that mode effectively. But I understand, maybe maybe it's just showing too much information on one screen, maybe it just needs a redesign, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not really sure what the solution is. I will let development figure that out. But I, as a fan of what they're doing so far, as a fan who really wants to see this do very, very, very well, I will provide my inputs, I will provide my critiques, and I will provide what I see, what's happening, and how it's happening as best as I can, which for me is a YouTube video. So that way, uh, development maybe can fix it and get everything all cool and squared away. So, you never know. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, I want permission to... No. What? Permission to leave. Yay! Full ahead! Oh, I can't steer. Oh gosh. That giant blue thing. I want to see what it is up close. As up close as possible. I give engineering to give us a little bit more power to our main thrusters, main propulsion. <laughs> no, stop it. There we go. All right, boom. So we'll be there eventually. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's basically all I have to say about that. I mean, like I said, I, fingers crossed that we'll see some awesome things. Um, I am throwing a a um, thing with my friends, like a social gathering with my friends to play this game. Hopefully they'll have the bugs fixed by then. Um, but for now, we have Artemis as a backup, which I kind of hate saying, but it's true, just in case this doesn't work out too well. Uh, this game is definitely prettier in my eyes. I mean, Artemis is kind of very ugly and bulky and blog blobby looking uh, but it's been out for like 40 years like I said like you know okay may, may, maybe not 40 maybe like 20 years um, okay not exactly 20 years but you guys get the point it's been out for quite a while and this game is the new kid on the block best wishes for the new kid on the block hopefully this video is useful for anybody who might be facing some of the same issues that I'm facing hopefully this video is very useful for the um, developers if they want to watch the video and for some reason hear all the things I have to say 
and uh, yeah that's basically it for the video so thank you guys very much for giving us or giving this video a watch hope you guys enjoyed it and oh no I died <laughs> yes hope you guys enjoyed it and as always I will see you guys whenever